All right, so it's pretty early in the morning. It's still dark out. And I know I do a lot of videos about me working overnight and being on a call. Uh, today's a little different. So today I'm working a regular day shift as an interventional radiology resident. So today's an early start in the morning. Most of our procedures are usually done in the mornings or we try to get to them in the morning so that we have time for more emergent procedures later. And if any complications come up with our procedures, we're still in the hospital and most of the hospital staff is still there so that we can appropriately manage it. This morning, actually though, first we're gonna be doing a conference that we do every two weeks. It's called a morbidity and mortality conference. It's a joint conference between radiology and surgery. And we kind of go over patients that may not have had the best outcomes they have had some unexpected complications. We go over these cases as a group. We discuss them as a group. We go over different things that we could have done differently to avoid such situations coming out in the future. And overall, it's a very good learning experience in general. So in particular, a lot of the cases, you know, we work very closely with surgery. We do a lot of cases that sometimes surgeons are unable to do or patients are unable to tolerate more invasive procedures and that's when minimally invasive approaches come in. So sometimes we do procedures together and sometimes complications happen, things happen, unexpected circumstances happen. So it's good learning experience. So as a resident, we cover these conferences, which means we go over the imaging of particular patients and we kind of go through the timeline of what happened when, how things were done, and we basically discuss it as a group. So Let's tag along with me today on a typical day as an interventional radiology resident. We'll catch in with you again. So one thing I do want to make clear is that I was never really a morning person. You kind of have to become that way as a doctor, especially depending on what specialty you want to do. But there's something about just uh, being awake in the morning, being productive in the morning when everyone else is asleep something that I really genuinely do enjoy about that. So that's why I don't really mind as much having to do these early morning shifts. And any fatigue that you may be noticing in this video is not acute fatigue. Uh, I'm in my third year of residency. Residency is tough. This is chronic fatigue. So this is what chronic fatigue looks like if you are unaware of that. So I'll check in with you again. Let's head to the hospital. So just pulled up to the hospital. It's about 40 minutes before the beginning of the conference. So let me give you a quick rundown of exactly what's gonna happen today. So first I'm gonna head to the conference room, get all the images pulled up, have everything prepared before the beginning of our M&M conference. After that, I'm gonna head to the back to interventional radiology. I'm gonna take a look to see what's on the schedule, prepare consent patients for the actual scheduled procedures for today. I'm also gonna have to round on probably a couple of patients that were uh, had, had procedures done by interventional radiology the day before. Once I'm done writing the notes and rounding on the patients, it's just gonna be procedure after procedure. Throughout, throughout the day though, there's gonna be consults coming in from the ED, the regular floors, the ICU. I'm gonna see those consults and determine if procedures need to be done emergently or if things can be held off for a later time. So that's pretty much a basic rundown and a plan, but you learn quickly in this field to expect the unexpected. So we'll see how today goes. I hope you enjoy this day in the life.
All right, so it was a jam-packed morning. I can't believe it's already like 1.30 right now. Just finished some of the cases for the morning. We have a couple of cases scheduled for the afternoon. In the meantime, we got a couple of consults. So I'm gonna go see some patients on the floors and uh, decide what we're gonna do with that. And uh, you know, the thing about this profession you learn is that, you know, at this stage early on, you learn you're all worried about getting the steps right and doing the procedure the right way. But as you become a really good physician, you the, the talent that you really gain is how to adapt to unforeseen circumstances. <clears throat> A couple of the cases that we had today, which were supposed to be straightforward, ended up turning to be a little bit complicated. And you know, things that you can't really predict, uh, patient's anatomy, things like that. So it became a little bit more complicated. So it was good to just kind of see with my attending how they handle adversity, how they handle stressful situations. So that's eventually the goal one day when you become a big boss man. So in the meantime, like I said, now I'm gonna go see some patients. And yeah, I didn't mention anything about food. I've just had the coffee that I had this morning, but this is the life of a doctor. So we'll see how it goes. Catch up with you again. All right, so I just came to see a patient for a joint case that we had done with cardiothoracic surgery. So I just changed the drain with the cardiothoracic surgeon at bedside. So this is other responsibilities you may have as a resident going to the floors. All right, just like that, time to close up shop. So just finished the very last case of the day. It's a little bit after five o'clock. Now it's time to just make sure everything's neat and tidy. Take care of a couple of notes. Last procedure I did was uh, I got to do it independently. And that's one good thing about uh, being in a hospital where you don't have fellows, you get to have some hands-on experience. So last case was completely on my own. First time I ever did that case. Everything went smoothly, everything went well. Attending is satisfied, patients are safe. So now, like I said, just gonna tidy up a couple of notes and then we're gonna close up shop. Hope that nothing happens overnight, even though that's not my responsibility at this point. And then uh, get up in the morning and do it all over again. So I hope you enjoyed. That was a brief look into the day in the life of an interventional radiology resident. More content is on my channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I definitely appreciate that. Still trying to grow this channel. And I appreciate all of you guys checking this out. And until next time, let's go for another day.